It is half nine in the morning on the 20th of February. Um, this uh, video that you're watching now is going to be the first of a new little series that I'm doing. Uh, it's nothing to do with Leo, it's just me for now. Uh, probably get him in on it later though. But basically, this series of videos is going to be about me trying to improve my squat. Now, I've been lifting for four years, uh, two of which I've been lifting like consistently with intensity, um, you know, <coughs> sorry, putting into practice things that I've researched, studied, um, and really being like serious about the whole lifting thing, about working out on that. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I'm just not happy with where my squat is, especially compared to my other lifts. Like, my squat should be way up, but at the minute it's actually really low. Uh, I'm 6 foot 3 as well, so that's probably a problem, but, you know, even my sumo deadlift isn't up to par. You know, I can bench 110 for doubles, um, I can overhead press a good amount of weight as well. And shoulder press, and a lot of my movements are good, like they're powerful, and I can lift a lot of weight with good form. But my squats are always suffering; they always have, and I think it's because I had neglected them when I was younger. To be fair, I didn't squat that much. I was always focused on the the upper body movements. Sorry. Uh, but yeah, this series is just going to be about trying to improve the squat. Um. In every video, I'm basically just going to go through what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, uh, the benefits of what I'm doing, and what each drill or variation or protocol is being used, <coughs> why it's being used, um, and how it's going to help me improve the squat overall. So, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to try and keep it... You know, I don't just want to be putting up a lot of footage of me squatting. Because see that anywhere on YouTube, and you know, me and Leo are fairly late to the fitness party online. Not fitness, but the online YouTube and the whole social media fitness thing. We're late enough to that, so we, we need to keep coming up with sort of uh, new material and entertaining stuff instead of just putting out the same bar and crap that everyone puts out. There's no point, you don't have time to be watching that, so we want to make something good. And uh, keep it interesting. So, hopefully, this series will help you with your squat. This is just the introduction for the first video, and I'm gonna start the first episode now. Hey guys, what's going on? So, this is the first commentary or narration that we'll be doing on the channel, and I wanted to do it on a video like this a bit more of an educational video where there's actually something worthwhile saying. Uh, I did just want to put up text, I want to actually put up, you know. A commentary so it's easier to understand so this is the acclamation set from the first session of the series uh, 70 kilos I think we got four reps but um, as you can see there I'm using all my cues all my different little techniques and that and I'm hitting depth the bar path is nice and straight legs are going parallel at the bottom so I was happy with all of those reps and uh, here's the first working set this is 80 kilos um, I wanted three to five reps again uh, I think I only got three though. Um, you see now the first rep, all the cues were there. I was really happy with the first rep. See now it hit depth. I went parallel, just there. Heels nice and flat. Got a good um, explosiveness from the bottom. Now here it starts to get a little bit worse, as you can see there. I'm rocking a little bit and it's slower. So if you could see that from the front angle, you could see that my knee definitely caving in on that one. And on this rep, this last one, I didn't go full. Full depth, so I was a bit pissed off with that. We're here from the front angle. Now you can see there, my knee, before I even I'm wrecked away, it's already caving in. So that's a good sign that, you know, my knees are prone to do that anyway. Um, and this rep was pretty good, as you'll see now. 
knees stayed in that neutral position, which was good, and they hit the good depth, bare pat, everything. Now here they start to cave in. <laughs> Face. But I got it up, and here it just gets progressively worse. You can see now. And uh, there we go, knees coming in. Definitely shaky, so he's a bit pissed off. But anyway, finished those three sets, went on to the hack squat machine. Uh, now basically what I'm using the hack squat machine for is to help build up the quad strength. But you see my feet, I'm practicing on keeping them flat. So that's why I'm using the slow eccentric. So I have time to actually think about what I'm doing. So I'm keeping my feet flat, pointed out about 45 degrees. And I'm trying to keep tension on the outside of my feet. Because when you lean onto the outside of your feet, you start activating the abductors. And that helps with the stability during the squat and keeping balance and tightness and everything, which is really important. So, let's fix them there. <laughs> I tried to go get a bit more ties in, or sorry, uh, hamstrings in, but... No, when you're doing the hack squat, it's all pretty much quad work. So, she using the slow eccentric there. Getting that in. Now here's the last set of hack squat I think from a different angle. I'll just show you that I'm trying to keep focusing on keeping my knees stationary in that wide position. And when you're doing the hack squat, it gives you the time because you're working on slow eccentric, it gives you the time to focus on keeping uh, knees out, heels flat, feet flat, any different cues that you need to work on. Now for me it's obviously the knees caving in because I'm so tall. I'm six foot three, so that's what the issue is. But um yeah, the hack squat, especially the hack squat in the machine is definitely a way to really help with that balance and help prevent the knees from caving in. So I'm just going to wrap this up now. Thanks for watching. Train brave, live fearless, be valiant.